This is a brilliant question. I'll classify it as a 700 level question. Is B the median of three numbers A, B and C? That's a question asked. We've been given two statements. Before we look into the statements, let's do two things. One, let's get a quick idea about what median is. Summing it up, you probably know, but I would recall it right now. For three numbers, if you arrange the numbers in an ascending or a descending order, the second number, the middle number is going to be the median. We've been given three numbers, so you can write the numbers in ascending order and find out which of the three numbers ended up being the second number. That will give us the median. What if we have more than three numbers? If you have a large population, the 50th percentile value is going to give us the median. It tells us that 50% of the observations are less than or equal to the median and another 50% of the observations are more than or equal to the median. So in general, what is median? Median is a middle value when you write numbers in ascending or descending order, right? We have done this 20, 30 second recap about what median is. Let's get into the DS component of it. What kind of a question is this? This question is asking us to find out whether B is the median. It's a yes question. It's a B verb question. Obviously the answer is going to be an yes or a no. If you can deduce that conclusively, definitely that B is the median, then the data is sufficient. Conversely, if you are saying, hey, B cannot be the median of these three numbers. It's either A or C. If we can say it with con conviction, even then the data is sufficient. So a definite yes or a definite no, data is sufficient. Sometimes yes, sometimes no, data is not sufficient. What is the approach? Let's evaluate each statement independently. If any one of the statements is sufficient, good. Or each is independently sufficient, very well. If they are not sufficient independently, let's combine and evaluate them. Even if that is not sufficient, we'll say the data is insufficient. Let's start by reading statement 1 and 1 alone. B by A is equal to C by B. What does this mean? We have seen this somewhere. B by A is the ratio between B and A. C by B is the ratio between C and B. So we are saying the ratio between B and A is the same as the ratio between C and B, which means the ratio is the same. They have a common ratio, which obviously means that these numbers are in a GP. So A, B, C are three terms in GP and this is the order. Now, if three terms are in GP, which number is going to be the median? Which is going to be the middle value among them? Let's just check it out. Let's look for a counter example. Let's look for a case where B is going to be the middle value. And let's see if we can come up with something where B is not the middle value. If that happens, then we can say statement 1 is not sufficient. Let's start with an example. I'm going to take A to be equal to 2. We know these numbers are in a GP. So let's assign some value for the common ratio. Let's say that is equal to 2. Let's plug in values of A, B, C for this example. A is a 2, B is a 4 and C is an 8. What is the median in this case? Median is 4, which happens to be B. So we found an example where B is the median. Now all that we need to do to disprove that this statement is sufficient, to come up with a conclusion that this is not sufficient, is to find a counter example. Let's see if that is possible. If you recall some of the theory that we have done in one of the few videos earlier, you'll be able to spot it. But otherwise, let's just look at, usually your counterexample comes by this particular thing. Keep this in mind, f and z i. Fractions, negative, zero, integers. Look for these variants to look for a counterexample. Let me take a to be a 2. I'm just plugging in a negative value for r and let's see what comes with it. If a is equal to 2 and r is equal to minus 2, then b will be a minus 4. c will be minus 4 into minus 2, which is equal to an 8. What is the ascending order? minus 4, 2 and 8. So the median in this case is A, which means it is not B. So you found a counter example. So purely from a DS perspective, this is enough for us to say that statement 1 alone is not sufficient. Quickly rule out A and D. What we are down to is B, C or E. Now one thing, we'll summarize this entire finding in the next slide. But as we are doing it, let's also understand if three numbers are in GP, when will the value be the middle value, the geometric mean be the median and when will it not be the median? Let's just have a look at it as we are summarizing it. That's a theory that I want you to carry home, take home with you. Right. Quickly, B A is equal to C by B points to the fact that B square is equal to AC and to the fact that these numbers are in a geometric progression with B as their geometric mean. All of this is done. Now, if three numbers are in a geometric progression, you could have all three numbers as positive. All A, B, C could be positive or all A, B, C could be negative. Just writing a simple example. These are values for A, B and C. 2, 4, 8, the one that we saw, all of them are positive. Or it could be minus 2, minus 4, minus 8. Here, all of them are negative. 
all of them are positive or all of them are negative you would have realized that what did we multiply to get the second and the third term we multiplied the first term with the two to get the second one and the second one with the two to get the third one the same we did in this case right it's not just a two as long as you multiply it with a positive number you are going to end up with all positive or all negative numbers so this is what is the conclusion or the inference that i want us to take home if the common ratio of the geometric progression is positive the terms of the sequence will be all positive or will be all negative if all of them are positive or all of them are negative then you'll realize that b is going to be the median so when will b be the median of three numbers in gp if three numbers a b c are in gp with b as their geometric mean that geometric mean will be the median when the common ratio of the geometric mean of the geometric progression is positive this is the inference that i want you to take home now the counter example is the next slide when will that not happen if not all the terms are of the same sign if there is a mix of sign some positive some negative when will that happen when the common ratio is negative right let's take a to be a 2 and b to be a minus 2 uh, r to be a minus 2 as we did we realize that the median is not b the median is a so the second part of the inference is if the common ratio of the three numbers which are in gp is not positive then b is not going to be the median will not be able to determine from this statement that b by a is equal to c by b are we talking about the case where r is positive or r is negative that is not known to us so statement 1 is not sufficient in rule out choices a and d we are down to b c or e let's look at statement 2 alone statement 2 ab is less than 0 product of two numbers is negative when one of them is positive and the other is negative just going with some example let's take this number to be a 2 and this number to be a minus 5 the product is negative the whole point is we do not know where c is c could be a number which could be greater than a in which case a will be the median let's have a look at it i can go for an example where c is equal to 10 the ascending order of the numbers is minus 5 a 2 and 10 the median for these three set of numbers is going to be a which is 2 conversely c could be such a way that b is a middle number so this is a 2 this is a minus 5 product continues to be negative i pick a c which is less than minus 5 which is going to be a minus 10 what is the ascending order of numbers minus 10 minus 5 and 2 in that case b is the median so the product of these two numbers is less than 0 all we can deduce is one of a or b is positive the other is negative we don't even know which one is that more importantly we have no clue about c so we can't determine which is the median is b the median or is some other number a or c the median so statement 2 alone is also not sufficient at the end of statement 1 we narrowed down our answers to b c or e let's eliminate b what we are down to is c or e quickly sum up statement 2 here right we do not know which value c takes we know that one of a or b is positive the other is negative without knowing anything about c we will not be able to determine whether b is the median statement 2 alone is not sufficient here as a counter examples are given have a quick look at it pausing the video if you want to so two alone is not sufficient eliminate b we are down to c or e Let's combine the two statements combine the two statements this is statement 1 the inference from that is these three numbers are in gp this is statement 2 the inference from that is one of a or b is negative and the other is positive these three numbers are in a gp we know one of them is positive the other is negative which means we can conclude that not all of them are of the same sign not all same sign if not all of them are of the same sign that is going to happen when the common ratio is negative if the common ratio is negative abc in gp b is the median b is the geometric mean then b will not be the median it's going to be a or c so combining the two statements we are able to conclude that b is not the median we are able to answer the question with a definite no together the statements are sufficient so rule out answer choice c answer choice e c is the answer to the question quickly sum up this findings of combining the two statements in the next slide and then move on therefore we can conclude that the three numbers a b c are not all positive nor are they all negative boils down to the fact that the common ratio is negative for this geometric sequence with b being the geometric mean and the common ratio being negative we know that b cannot be the median b will be the median only if the common ratio is positive we inferred that at the end of statement 1 so comparing the two statements we are able to say that b is not the median we have a definite answer so together the statements are sufficient eliminate choice e 
choice C is the correct answer. Quick takeaway. First one, for three numbers in GP, the median is a middle number. The median will always be the middle number. I'm sorry. The median will be the geometric mean when the common ratio is positive. In other words, if you have three numbers, A, A, K, A, K square, A, K will be the median provided K is positive. 